Are you drowning in photos and getting the dreaded out of storage message? I'm Karen, and today I'm going to show you how to organize and manage all the photos in your library and help you to declutter your library to keep your memories tidy and easy to find. Be sure to stay till the end where I'll be explaining how you can access a free download with all of the information I'm presenting in the video so you can look at it later. But let's dive in. First off, you're going to open the Photos app. It's the one that looks like a flower. When you open the Photos app, it's going to go right to all of your photos called the library. You'll see four icons, library, for you, albums, and search. Let's start by creating an album. This is a great way to organize your photos by events, trips, or any categories you like, so they're easier to find. So let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and go to Albums and select the plus sign. When you're there, select New Album. Give your new album a name. I'm going to call it Garden. Then press Save. Now I have a new album. I'm going to start by selecting a few pictures to put into my album. I'll go there and then I'll slide down to find the other pictures I want to add. I think that's it. I'll press Add. And now I have a new album and it's called Garden. Tapping on that will show me the pictures that I've put into my album. Another way to organize your photos is to designate certain photos as your favorites. To do that, I'm going to tap on a photo after pressing Select. So press Select and tap on a photo that you want to make a favorite and then tap on the circle with the three dots and you'll get a menu. Slide down to Favorite and tap on it. Now we can look at all the photos that are in the Favorites album. Press on Albums and look for the one called Favorites. And here we have a bunch of photos that are in here, all called Favorites, and that's one way to find your photos. Apple makes it easy to find photos. If you go into Albums, you can search by Shared Albums, People and Pets, Places You Visited, which is pretty handy. If you remember a photo was taken in a specific place and you click on it, then you'll get all of the photos and you can easily find the one you want. Apple also organizes your photos based on videos, selfies, live photos, portraits, all of these different ways that you have created photos in your library are already organized by Apple. How nice of them. So if you're looking for a screen recording you made, you just tap on screen recording album and you'll see it there. Now at the bottom of your screen is pretty important uh, way to um, manage your photos. You'll notice that in my utilities, I have something called duplicates. Now, if you're interested in saving space, click on duplicates and you'll see where your duplicates are and you have the ability to merge them. It tells you they're the exact same thing and you can merge them. You can merge all of them and that will save a lot of space on your device. If you want to delete a photo, that's another way to save some space to delete a photo. One way to delete it is to select the picture and press delete. Another way to delete a photo is to press on the photo and press on the trash can and press delete. If you put a photo in an album and then you delete the photo from the album, the photo still exists in your library. But if you delete a photo from your library, you have 30 days to go recover it because it will be found in a special album under utilities. Let me show you how to do that. Go to the albums and slide down all the way to utilities. The very last album is called Recently Deleted. Select it and then find the picture that you deleted, click on it, and you can press Recover. Recover Photo and there you go. It's recovered and now I can find it in my library. Another thing that can make it easy to find your pictures that you take in the app is to manage your photo albums. I'm going to be talking about organizing your albums. When you first select albums, 
what you have available is a screen that just shows you four of your albums. And then scrolling down, you'll see shared albums, people, pets and places, media types, and utilities. But if you would like to organize your albums, go back to the top and press see all. Now when you're there, you can press edit. I'm doing this because I may want to change the arrangement of my albums. I might want this one to be first. I just tap it and drag it. Recents and favorites are always the first two albums, but I can organize the rest just by tapping and dragging like that. When I'm all done organizing my albums, just press done and there I am. Now, I have over 13,000 photos in my library. It's a good way to find a photo rather than searching through 13,000 photos. Use the search button and then type in a keyword. So if I want to find all the photos of my dog, I can just type in my dog's name and then I can press dog, press there, and there I have 234 pictures of my beautiful dog. That's it. I've covered the basic features of how to use the Photos app, how to keep your photos organized, and how to delete unnecessary ones to save space on your device. Hopefully now you won't be getting that dreaded message running out of storage. With these tips, you'll be able to keep your photos nice and organized. Remember, practice makes perfect. So go ahead and start practicing and organize those photos. I make it a habit of going in about once a week to delete photos that I no longer need. If you want a handy cheat sheet to refer to, you can find the download available in the details of this video. If you found my video helpful, please let me know in the comments and subscribe to Techie Tutor for more tips and tricks. See you next time. Thanks for watching.